go to options and you will see that we have three different buttons if we click one it is not setting it because we need to change our difficulty medium and hard now if we click options we can now change what our difficulty is we can click that back and we will go back to our menu the next thing we want to do is uh, create some labels GUI.label is how you create them they take a rectangle position and a GUI content we're going to go ahead and say new rectangle screen dot width 2 you want this to be at the top of the screen which is uh, 0 uh, 100 20 and it's going to say matching tutorial we'll copy this put this into options call this options and click play you can see that it's a little offset so we're going to go ahead and subtract some uh, about 30 All right, half. Then in our in game, we're going to want to do some similar things. So when we're in game, we can assume that we have a play mat because we have insta instantiated one. So we want to figure out what our score is and represent that to the user. So back into PlayMat, we're going to go ahead and create a helper function. Uh, so public string get points string and this is just going to return our points dot to string plus a slash plus our total points dot to string back in our UI we're going to go ahead and say playmat dot Plus playmat dot get playmat dot get points string and then we're gonna want a button up in the corner so that you can quit the game and the corner is zero zero. And when you quit, we're just going to destroy our game, our, our playmat. Playmat.getPlayMat.GameObject. And then we're going to change our states to the menu. Uh, then we can check to see if we've won. Playmat.getPlayMat.Game1. If we've won, we can display some new a couple new buttons um, one of the buttons is going to be play again and one is going to be uh, Uh, 
Uh, if we want to play again, we're going to go ahead and destroy the game object, and then we're going to recreate it by instantiating our playmat. And then we also want to quit. And that will just destroy the playmat and set our state equal to the menu. Okay. Right. Make sure everything's saved up. Let's click play. We can go to our options. Set our options to medium. Come back. Click play. We can see our score. We can quit the game. Which will return us back. Um, we need to So, in order to actu actually destroy our, our playmat, we need to make sure that this is parented to that. So, to do this, let's go ahead and go back to our playmat. Um, we are going to parent our board a transform dot parent is equal to our game object dot transform okay and then we'll click play play our board is now parented we can click quit and the game will quit. We can go back in, we can start matching. And when we get the full amount, Yeah, and we can see our buttons to quit and play again, which are not spaced out properly. Back in our UI, go ahead and add 35, and now they will space out. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching.